This is the, <clears throat> to summarize, these are actions that we've taken since March the 2nd. And as I said before, these have had the anticipated impact, but we know from reports that the virus is, is still spreading, still growing, and we must do everything we can to stop the spread, be as aggressive as we can be, using the facts, the science, and the data, and the knowledge and recommendation of the experts in the field, but at the same time, not going too far and destroying businesses and jobs that people are depending on. So we're working hard, and since March the 2nd, I've had the law enforcement authorized to disperse groups that are endangering public health. We've required self-quarantine of individuals entering South Carolina from high-risk areas. We've closed public access to the beaches, rivers, lakes, and other waterways, and taken other steps as well. This new order begins, is effective on April the 1st. That is tomorrow, and these are the elements of that. These are non-essential, close contact business and venues that where the, the businesses and the activities are being suspended. Again, this was the bare minimum that we think we can do in closures in order to have the largest impact. And that's the approach that we're taking. So entertainment venues are three categories. Entertainment venues that are temporarily closed effective April the 1st are as follows, nightclubs, bowling alleys, arcades, concert venues, theaters, auditoriums, and performing arts centers, and tourist attractions. On the screen there. Race tracks, indoor children's play areas, but that does not include daycare. We want the daycares to stay open if they can. It includes bingo halls, venues operated by social clubs, such as Rotary Clubs, VFW, and those kind of things, and also adult entertainment venues. Athletic facilities and activities temporarily closed, effective also April the 1st, are as follows. Sports requiring interaction with another person of closer than six feet, activities requiring shared equipment, activities on commercial or public playground equipment, and here are the close contact service providers temporarily closed effective April the 1st. Barber shops, hair salons, waxing salons, threading salons, nail salons, and spas. Also, body art facilities and tattoo services, tanning salons, massage therapy establishment, and massage services. We are, have created a group that will be at the Department of Commerce, and it will be for verification and classification of these various businesses that we're referring to. And you can see on the screen there how to get to them with email. And our, our goal is to have a determination, a decision and verification made within 24 hours. And while that determination is being made, that is if a business calls in and wants to know if they are included in this or not, uh, they should continue with normal operations until they are so informed.